You know what she could use? A little sip of that drink I invented. Hi, Stewie Griffin here with my latest creation, Monster Energy Drink. What is it? I don't know, but it's free from this truck that stopped outside your work. Mix it with booze. Ever been wide awake, blacked out? Ever tried to jump over a train on a bike? Ever bit the beak off a bird? Monster Energy. Put it in your body and ask questions later. It's green, so it's nature. I celebrate both your successes. I want you guys to succeed. It's really important to me. So that that's another issue, and I know sometimes that's where it comes from. Because I've I've, I've been places and been in meetings and stuff where it. <laughs> Let's just say it's been interesting because I was a woman and it was the males in the meeting, and I was making a decision when no one knew it. So I, I've I've I know that this stuff goes on. I've experienced it. So, so whether you're out there or in here, it still happens. The only yeah. difference is you guys are hearing it more. That's the yeah. difference. Yeah. Well, it's like it's like the police shootings um, in America of, you know, unarmed black men. Uh, I mean, if we hear about it here in the UK, then, you know, it's, it's bubbling above the surface. Um, so it's a question of uh, awareness. So we're going to have future conversations rachel will you join us again you said we're hoping to get it would be an honor. Thank yeah you. and if you have a female connections obviously your connections on linkedin that we're trying to get this so if we could get three or four voices female voices in the room and we could have our next conversation about boundaries and there are various things i hear about you know um so the Me Too movement as it was, I would say had some real impact. Yes, absolutely. And, so, and absolutely. that's, yeah, that's what we're looking to do with this. So you can't give a comparison between LinkedIn and something else, but what you can do is give me a um, scale of, uh, of naught to 10, where 10 is you're getting something every day one or two things inappropriate every day and one is once a month um i'm thinking of last week <laughs> <I'm going> to... <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm okay so last week i had two okay um, so and it is i mean it really is i mean really what i mean greg let's be honest why would they want to be blocked from any of our networks it, it, it's, it's not huh? there's there's just you don't want to do it we're, we're we're all friends we're all connected it just it doesn't make sense right. so some, and i have a friend who every week do checks on he's really good he's like so how was the week how many was this week i mean did you block this week? but um so last week it was two and, and then i I'll, I'll be honest here's an honest statement i've never made it through a week where i haven't had to block a meal and i'm still waiting for that because i'm gonna do like a woohoo yeah yeah <laughs> seriously i'm gonna celebrate party it. friday yeah, but I haven't I haven't had that yet. Where it's not it hasn't happened. So let me I have make a question. A, I have two, two last week. Two last Go on, Gregory. So yeah, you mentioned, you know, when people, you know, make these uh unwanted advances and you know, we're all friends and we talk, you know, there's this opportunity basically to block not just from your network, but Jonathan's network, my network, other, you know, friends' networks and so forth. Um, is that something we should explore as, you know, more corporately as the LinkedIn Me Too page that we should put that up there? Or is that calling people out too much saying, hey, these are the people that are really uh, crossing the line and uh, we would recommend that you might want to block them because they're doing things that I would never accept ever. You know, one of my friends just did that. It was this, that you, oh, I, ooh, I'll, I'll reach out to her for you guys. She just had a horrific horrific experience so what she did is she i didn't even talk about it on here i'm gonna let her show the story but she posted about it and then she posted the then she put up the guy's profile hmm. put the guy's phone number over there on it because it's been changing you know he's been using a different phone phone. Yeah. Hmm. yeah right so yeah she posted and we all went underneath her and said thank you thank you for sharing his information we appreciate it so we could be, yeah, I will reach out. It was, uh, I want to give her some time because she just had a deeply traumatic experience around yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Um, but one of the, what she went through, there's no words for it. There's no so, 
so all right well look uh, uh, um, i'll say we're coming to the end of our recording so this has been um uh, less female balanced than we've preferably like we're going to get some more female voices in the room so if you're watching this video and you've had an experience because i only just asked rachel about about how how frequently um and it's obviously it's happening a lot i do have a couple of female friends it doesn't happen to at all so i'm not sure exactly what's going on there but what i'd say to you is please comment below please follow linkedin me too um and um share your stories with us and connect with gregory or with me you'll find me at potency hyphen world is my normal profile connect with me and join future recordings and we're obviously going to investigate how to set boundaries we're going to investigate blocking people and we're going to find a way to make LinkedIn pay attention to this issue. Um, Gregory. Yes. What you gave a great talk the other day that you were talking about. Mm -hmm. What opportunities can either you or Rachel think of where we could do a presentation to a big group? And I would check. You know, are we still? Are we yeah, we're still recording. Yeah. <laughs> so I was going to give you ideas. After. Oh so, no! Give us ideas on on film. That's fine. Okay. Um, is that you can do this? That there's definitely a need to do this, but and to make sure because, like I said, I I do have males that are dealing with this, and they're not happy about it. Well, it's something to recognize that there there are males who want. Like, I, I just don't want to deal with it. I don't want to get on here. Yeah. And what's going on? I'm on here to work. Here well, work. Um, Gregory was showing me, so we looked at his blocked list because there is a list of all the people he's blocked. So I've never had to block anybody so far. Wow! But, congratulations. Mm -hmm. close. Yeah. yeah. Well, the I mean, thing the thing is that I don't pay attention to it. I only do my posts and the engagement because I haven't got a smartphone, so it doesn't persist. Well, also, I'm not nearly popular enough. Like two and a half thousand people following me it's nothing i suppose when you've got a much bigger pool then the weirdos appear to accumulate um is it possible to get one of your male friends to join us for a recording oh absolutely yeah oh yeah absolutely okay. I, can, I can text Great. a couple of them and see if they want to talk cool about. Well, i'll tell you what you're able to add people to our group conversation which i'm going to rename linkedin me too i don't um, know if that much time you know what i mean but i can talk to them about coming in and doing like a recording yeah, with yeah. this sort of time in the future yeah yeah, okay. yeah. i actually i know two would be very open to cool all right well look thanks a lot for watching um i will cut Thank this in you. some ways but i don't know in what way exactly it will turn out so that will be all the more exciting <laughs> uh thanks a lot follow the page and uh be good and please uh, this is going out everybody please follow jonathan follow gregory these are two gentlemen that you need to follow and you need to know please and follow the hashtag thank you very much everybody for the taking the time and watching lovely <laughs>